what is going on ready for another video here we go all right so let's look at this obviously we can see if we plug the zero in we're going to get zero in the denominator let's do it anyway all right and so that gives us one over zero plus five over zero and that does not equal six over zero okay you know you can't do that all right so what do we do well the obvious thing here is probably since we got two fractions added together what do you think might happen if we just add them together let's see so we've got the limit as x goes to zero all right so what do we have to do here we've got to get a common denominator and i hope everybody remembers how to do this all right so our common denominator is x times x times x minus five x times x minus five all right so we can see here we've got a x we've got to multiply x minus five to the common denominator I mean, we got to multiply. We got to multiply x minus five to this x to get the common denominator. So we got to multiply it to the numerator. So one times x minus five is x minus five. Well, this is the common denominator, so that'll just stay at five. And so this is going to be the limit as x goes to zero of x minus five plus five. I know I could do that in one step, but I didn't. Believe it or not, you do get some people in calculus. If I would have just written X, they would have asked me what happened to the five. Okay, that's why I wrote it out. All right, so now we can see we got the limit as X goes to zero of X over X times X minus five. All right, negative five plus five is zero. All right, so look at this. How wonderful is that? the x's cancel and so we're left with the limit as x goes to zero of one over x minus five now let's just plug the zero in we get zero minus five which is one over negative four so we get negative one fourth as our answer well that was a quick one wasn't it all right well i hope it helped and check out my other videos give me a like share subscribe comment and i will see y'all in the next one later